of it always. The sacred blue star shining in the sky above us. I heard once that all across its surface, life blossoms and grows everywhere. Someday, I would like to go there myself. I would like to feel its fresh air upon my skin. Someday, I will. I... I am a priestess of Alto. Thousands of years have passed, and this is all I can do. I can only watch and pray and wait for the time, the time when you awake in the blue and abundant land of ER and call out to me. So please, let my words reach you. My feelings, my song, let them reach you in your slumber. Grace, you rascal! I figured I'd find you here. Come on, let's go. Time for me to turn those losses around. Let's have it! Show those cards! Oh, piss off! You wanna play? You gotta pay! Maybe you got the best hand in the world, but it doesn't matter without the money! Ain't that right, Mr. Grace? <laughs> what a joke! Can't even afford this low of a buy-in! <laughs> Looks like the Mercenaries Guild's greatest swordsman has hit rock bottom! Ah, damn it! Hey, Crace! We got work! W-O-R-K, work! What are you doing here? What the hell does the Mercenaries Guild want with me? I'm busy, pal. Bugger off. Is that any way to greet a friend? All I wanted to do was tell you about a job offer, but... What? A job offer? For me? 
Yeah, well, God knows why, but they asked for you specifically. They asked? Then they must have paid in advance. Give me the money, now! Yes, there's your damn buy-in, jackass. Not so confident now, are you? Read them and weep, boys. No problem, champ. Take a look. Black King, Red King, Blue King. Black, Red, and Blue Queens. <laughs> I don't think I'll be doing the weeping. No way! <laughs> Sorry, Chris. Now get out of here, you bum! You... you cheated! What the hell did you just say to me? Hey there, Mr. Kreis. You forgot the rules of the Mercenaries Guild already? Really? It's your fault for not catching a cheater in the first place. But hey, it's not like we got to cheat to fleece a chump like you. <sighs> so... If that's the last of your money, I think it's time you got out of that chair. The guild's waiting for you, right? All right. Let's uh, go meet your client. <laughs> well, you already got your down payment. I think you know what comes next. You know what'll happen if you run off. Fine, let's get this over with. I know I'll have guild goons all over my ass the moment I break that contract. So don't you worry your pretty little head. Give me money, I'll do my job. All right then, this way. Your client's waiting for you. Now get the hell out of here! The song. What a beautiful voice. Brings back some bad memories. Huh? You say something? No, nothing. song <laughs> Not even festival season yet. We already got this kid troubadour. No. Oh, that kid you're talking about is the girl who hired you. What? This has got to be a joke. That kid? Hiring me? <laughs> That's a laugh. Hey, ma'am. Good timing. I tracked him down for you. <laughs> this is the spell sword you asked for. Crace Sewell. Oh, well, um, hello. My name is Sophie Rothorn. Nice to meet you. You can't be serious. All right. You're just gonna have to ask Sophie here for the details. Don't screw this up, Chris. Whoa, who said I'm doing this? Who'd take a job from a kid? Ralph, buddy, pal, you of all people should know how much I hate kids. 
So what? You took her advance quick enough. Kid or not, she paid for you. Now man up and do your job. What? Too much for you? Fine. Give the girl her money back. Go back to being unemployed, loser. Damn. Well, uh, I can't really do that. Well, if you can't give her money back, then give the girl what she paid for. Hey, kid! Yes? Looks like I don't have a choice here. I'm taking your job. But I hate kids. You hired me fair and square, but don't think that means I'm gonna be some kind of kiss-ass. Got it? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Sewell. <sighs> so, um, what is it you want me to do? I'm looking for seven gems that are hidden throughout Floral Moss. I need you to be my bodyguard, Mr. Sewell, until I found all of the gems. <laughs> so a treasure hunt, huh? Well, you paid for me. I'm yours. Where are we gonna start? Well, I was thinking. Perhaps we could start with the Coastal Cave. The Coastal Cave? Huh. You mean that little hole, east of Krupp Coast? I'm sorry. I know of the name, but I don't know where it is. Whatever. As long as I get paid, I could care less. The Krupp Coast is gonna be southwest from the West Gate. Come on, kid! Let's go!
child. Hmm? I think he was listening to me sing earlier. So? He was crying. He just got separated from his mother. Poor child. <sighs> Damn, he's loud. Look, I'm sure his mom will show up any time now, alright? He's fine. You think so? Come on, that cave's not gonna come to us. Uh, okay. Come on, kid, move it! Okay. <sighs> and you wonder why I hate kids. You're hopeless. What's wrong? Are you lost? <laughs> God damn it! No payday is worth this! If you won't stop crying, we can't help you. Can you tell me what's wrong? You're just a kid too, you know? Mommy! <laughs> My mommy! Uh-huh. She's gone! I see. All right, let's go look for her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Mr. Sewell. Now you got time to find this kid's mom? I thought we had a job to do. But... Are you gonna leave? No, no, it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. Come on. His mom can't be that dumb. She'll come looking for the brat eventually. Well, you have a point. Exactly. So leave him and let's go. I... I can't do that. What did you say? I can't just leave him here. He's lonely and scared. I just can't. Then what do you suggest we do? You want to just stand here until his mom shows up? No. I'll sing. Sing? Yes. Maybe his mother will hear my voice. She was listening to me sing earlier, so maybe if she hears my voice, she'll come over this way. Like you said, I'm sure she's looking for him. <sighs> It won't take very long. Can you just wait a little bit? Fine, whatever. But I'm on the clock, you got that? Okay. Sorry. Uh, where's my mom? She's on her way. I'm going to sing a song for you, okay? You're going to sing for me? Yep. I'm sure your mom will be here any minute. Let's sing together, okay? Does that sound good? Yeah, okay. Not again. I gotta admit, for a kid, she's a hell of a troubadour. Song. I hate it. There you are, Mommy. <laughs> oh, 
Mr. Sewell! I'm sorry for the wait. <sighs> we found the mother. Yeah, I know. I was here. Oh, yeah. Anything else? Maybe rescue a kitten? I-I'm fine. All right, then. Um... Thank you. For what? Thanks for coming with me when I decided to talk to that boy. Look, the place we're going to, it ain't very nice. Not really a place for kids. I just didn't want your mind to be somewhere else, that's all. Mm. Yeah, whatever. All right, kid, let's go. Oh, okay. Don't touch that little hairball, kid. You'll get hurt. I'll get hurt? See how there's two of them? They don't mind if you get close, but you try and touch one, and you'll... <sighs> See? That's not fair, Mr. Sewell. What? I want to pet them, too. What the... Were you just watching? But... Let's just go! Hmm. Ready, guys? I'll do my best. Yes! Thank you very much! Ready, guys? I'll protect you! Yeah! Yeah! <sighs> 
Let's go! I'll protect you! Alright, that's it! Yeah! 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 Alright! Good job, everybody! Ready, guys? Here they come! Get in there! All right! Good job, everybody! Let's go! I'll do my best! Our journey begins! I'm so excited! <laughs> Pretty carefree kid. <laughs> Get back, kid! Yes! Ready, guys? Here they come! Yeah! Come on, kid, you're gonna freak out over this? You really are a baby, aren't you? You sure you're really looking for a gym, not a pacifier or something? <laughs> Kids like you ought to be home tugging on her mom's apron strings. Why are you out here, getting yourself in all sorts of trouble? Mr. Sewell, my name isn't Kid. It's actually Sophie. I'd like it if you call me that. And besides, my mom died six months ago from some sort of illness. Oh, well I... Mr. Sewell, please don't be so moody. I need your help, and that means 
I need your powers. Hey, I don't need you to tell me that. Don't you worry, I'll do my job. I want the rest of my money. All right, kid, let's get going. Okay. Let's go! I'll protect you! Alright! Sorry! Let's go! I'll do my best! Ready, guys? I'll do my best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang in there. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Let's go! I'll protect you! Alright! Thank you very much!
Ready, guys? I'll protect you. Yeah! 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 Hang in there! Yes! Thank you very much! Ready, guys? Here they come! Yeah! Hang in there! Yeah! Yes! Thank you very much! Ready, guys? Here they come! Yeah! Yeah! Ow! Yeah! All right! Good job, everybody! Ready, guys? I'll do my best. Hang in there. Yeah. Hang in there. Yes. Good job, everybody. Ready, guys? I'll protect you! Hang in there! Hang in there! Yes! Good job, everybody! Ready, guys? Here they come! Yeah! Yeah! Hang in there! Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Thank you very much!
Let's go. I'll protect you. Yeah. 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 What the hell is the deal with this huge crab? It it seems to be drawing power from the gems. Who would have thought this job would be so dangerous? Are we going to be all right, Mr. Soul? Let's go! I'll protect you! Well, I don't think this guy is gonna cut us much slack. <sighs> hey, don't worry, kid. This is what you hired me for, right? Yes. We made it. Mr. Sewell, thank you so much. Eh, just doing my job, kid. I know, but still, thank you very much. <sighs> Come on, let's get that gem or whatever the hell it is and head back to town. Okay. So this is a dead end. Doesn't look like there's any gym here, kid. What's this big stone for? Looks pretty old. Is this a grave or something? I'm sorry, Mr. Sewell, but could you wait here for a bit? What's up, kid? What are you up to? I'm sorry, I just need to be able to concentrate. Mark Arsu Sornam! Cloister of Time, open! What was that? This is one of the gems! I would never have been able to find it without your help! Thank you very much, Mr. Sue. Sure, no problem. Well, I guess you weren't playing around when you said you needed a bodyguard. So what's the deal with these gems? And why is a little kid like you running around the world trying to find them? Who are you exactly? all of the gems, I'll be able to enter the Temple of Water. The Temple of Water? Yes. It was lost long ago, in the flow of time. 
But it's a very important temple. It's connected to the root of the world. I can't tell you my reasons. But I have to gather all of the gems and get to the temple. No matter what. So really, you can't tell me anything. Sorry. Please, believe me, Mr. Sewell. I'm not trying to do something bad with the gems. I promise. <sighs> if you say so, kid. Long as I get paid, you can use them to take over the world for all I care. You just tell me where to go and what to hit. I took this job, so whether I trust your intentions or not isn't really the point. So we're done here, right? Let's get back to the city. No way in hell am I camping out here. Okay. Mr. Sewell, thank you for your help today. Let's go! Here they come! Yeah! 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 Yes! Good job, everybody! Ready, guys? I'll protect you! Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Thank you very much! Let's go! I'll protect you! Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Good job, everybody! Ready, guys? I'll do my best. Hang in there! Alright! Thank you very much! All right, we got an early day tomorrow. Time to head back to the inn and sleep. Nothing good will come of staying up all night at your age. Okay. The innkeeper can show you to your room. I've already paid for our rooms. Separate rooms, of course. Of course. <laughs> oh, but please keep in mind that I don't have a lot of money. So, if you need to rest when, you know, we don't have to? Huh. You're telling me if I want to take a rest, it's coming out of my pocket? 
Little tight-fisted, aren't you? I'm sorry. Eh, I'm just kidding. I'm a pro, kid. I wouldn't make my employer spend money on me if she didn't have to. Hmm. Let's get moving. Uh, okay. Babysitting is hard work. So where to tomorrow, kid? Um, I was thinking of searching the Fountain of Glamour. The Fountain of Glamour? Oh, I know where this one is. It's northeast of the Terran Wood, right? I hear medicinal herbs grow there, and someone at the Mercenaries Guild told me that it's very pretty. <sighs> Mr. Sewell? Huh? What? I want to thank you again for today. I feel really safe with you around. You're kind of rude, and you look angry, but I think you're a nice guy underneath all that. Hey, don't flatter me, kid. I'm just in this for the money. Did I tell you? I hate kids! Yes? We're gonna have an early start tomorrow. Kids need to go home and get some rest. Okay. Good night, Mr. Sewell. Ready, guys? I'll protect you! Ready, guys? Here they come! Yes! Thank you very much! Let's go! Here they come! Yes! Good job, everybody!
Ready, guys? Here they come! Yeah! Huh. Yeah! Huh. Uh. Yeah! 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 Huh. Huh. Hang in there! Huh. Huh. Yeah! Huh. Hang in there! Yeah! Huh. Huh. Yes! Good job, everybody! Let's go! Here they come! Hang in there! Yeah! Yeah! Alright! Sorry! Just like... Mr. Soul? Damn it. This looks just like... No. I don't want to think about that. We need to get the hell out of here. Something you don't want to think about? But it's so pretty. Hey kid, what the hell are you doing? Move it! Okay, I'm sorry. Ready, guys? I'll do my best. Hang in there! Hang in there! All right! Good job, everybody! Let's go! Here they come! Hang in there! Yeah. Hang in there! Yeah. 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 Alright! Thank you very much!
Ready, guys? Here they come! Yes! Good job, everybody! Ready, guys? I'll protect you! Hang in there! Yeah. Yes! Thank you very much! Let's go! I'll do my best! Alright! Thank you very much! Mr. Sewell, look! Another stone monument! We found it! Hey, kid, wait! <sighs> you idiot. <gasps> Where the hell are you going? You're gonna get hurt up front like that! Okay. Damn it! I guess being a bodyguard ain't enough. Now I gotta babysit too. I'm just not cut out for this crap. Let's go! I'll do my best! Magnus! Hang in there! 
to Idiot. You're nothing but trouble, you know that? Just shut up and stay behind me. Stop running off! I I'm sorry. Damn. This is why I hate kids. Mm. What are you standing around for? Hurry up and grab your damn gym so we can get the hell out of here. Hurry up! Go! Okay, sorry. Lene, Lene, Mark Arsu Sornov! Cloister of Time, open! Done? All right. Let's go. What's taking you so long? Hurry it up, kid. I, I'm sorry. It takes a lot of work to open the Cloister of Time. I'm a little dizzy. It, it's okay. I'm fine now. Huh. Let's move then. We gotta get back. I don't got time to stand around babysitting! Stop fidgeting, kid! Mr. Sewell, something's wrong with you. What makes you think that? Everything. Ever since we got here, you've been in a really bad mood. You've been so mean. I know you're a really nice person. Nice person? Ha! I think you've got me mixed up with someone else, kid. I don't think so. You protected me from those monsters. Cause that's my job, kid. I need the money. How am I gonna get the rest of my money if I let my employer die? But... I was so excited to get to meet you. Why do you... Why do you hate me so much? <sighs> don't flatter yourself. It's not just you. I can't stand kids, period. Nothing good ever comes from looking after kids. They just make you... Uh, make you... Make you what? I mean, um... Mr. Sewell, if there's anything I can do... <sighs> Stay out of my business, alright? That's why I hate kids! Listen to me. This is none of your damn business. Just drop it, and let's get back to town. that? Mr. Sewell? Stay close to me, kid. You got that? Okay. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> Holy! Is that... Otto? <laughs> Don't look, kid. 
<laughs> Who are you? Did you... Did you do that to Otto? So? I merely dealt with the infidels who dared to disturb the gem's seal. Gem? Why do you know about it? Who are you? Kid, don't move. These guys are bad news. I don't know what it is, but something about them ain't right. Master, shall I dispose of them? No, not yet. <laughs> it looks as though they are finally doing their job. I've been waiting for you for a while. Knight of the Priestess of Water. What did you say? Damn you! How do you know? Indeed, how do I? <laughs> no matter. Pawns are pawns and do well to attend to their master's wishes. Otherwise, there may be... trouble. So please, continue. You are doing an excellent job. Let us depart, Fade. Yes, master. Hey, wait a minute! What? What is this? What the hell is wrong with me? Why am I shaking? Mr. Sewell? Knight of the Priestess of Water. What does he know? Who were they? Mr. Sua, we need to help the guildsmen. And I'm worried about the gems. Right. Otto, all these people. This is horrible. Don't worry, it's already dead. It was killed with just one hit. Was it those two? If it was, then Otto was no match for them. Mr. Sewell, the gem is safe! So, they killed all these people, but didn't even bother to touch the gem. If they're not after the gems, then... Whatever. Kid, do your thing with that gem before we get any more uninvited guests. Okay. Lene, Lene, Mark Arsu Surnab! Cloister of Time, open! Kid. Yes? What is it? This gym gathering, it's pretty clear it ain't some kind of little game of yours. I think it's about time you told me what exactly you're up to here. Um, I... You said you need these rocks to get into the Temple of Water. What are you gonna do when you get there? What's in the Temple of Water? I can't tell you that. I just... can't. 
please, you have to trust me. I know it can't be easy, but please, believe me. <sighs> well, I guess I'm nothing more than a sellsword after all. Not my place to be sticking my nose in my employer's business. No, that's not what I mean. I... I just... I... Forget it, kid. We better get out of here before we attract any more company. Time to head back to the city. Okay. I got a feeling that's not the last time we're gonna run into that guy. Uh, well, I got a few questions for him anyway. He's not getting away next time. Ready, guys? I'll protect you! Steal it! Steal it! Yeah! Yeah! All right! Sorry. Ready, guys? I'll protect you! Alright! Good job, everybody! This is certainly unexpected. Uh. Bleep, 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 bleep. Good heavens, these levels, why, they're maxed out. Wh what the hell? Bleep, 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 bleep. There's no mistaking this. My magic detector, the Mr. Bleep Bleep 3.0, is never wrong. This is an abnormal yet accurate reading. <laughs> Mr. Sewell? Who, who 
the hell are you? I'm Melrose. But really, that's not important. Forget my name. Just call me Mel, if you want. But first... You, young man, take off your clothes. What the... Come on, it's not hard. Oh, was I not clear? Let me try again. I request that you remove your garments. Yes? All right. Quickly now. Come on, I don't have all day. Go, 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 go! What, what the hell, lady? This is to advance magical science. There is nothing to be ashamed of. I have no ulterior motives. Do you understand? Yes? Now, I must examine you. Everything off. I, I can't get naked here. Besides, why on earth would I strip for some stranger? I don't even know you, lady. You know how they say, no matter where you go, destiny follows you. Just accept that your destiny has finally caught up with you. <laughs> Is there something wrong? I can help you if you're having some sort of trouble. What the hell? Kid, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, he looks like a very lively lab rat. <laughs> the anticipation. Oh, oh what pleasures await. <sighs> We should be okay here. What the hell was that all about? That woman was terrifying. Really? You seem to be having quite a bit of fun with Mel. What? How? Mm. Looks like the freaks are out in force today. Maybe you should head back to your room. I need to drop by the guild and let them know what happened to Otto. Okay. Phew. All right, kid. Where are we going next? I think we should probably go to the Ishtal Ruins next. Oh, up northwest of Terramwood? Never heard of anything interesting out there, though. What's wrong, kid? You're looking kind of down. It ain't like you. I was thinking about what happened when we went after the last gem. That man is very dangerous, and I'm certain he's evil. But I don't know who he is, or what he wants. Who were those two people? Your guess is as good as mine, kid. All we really know just now is that they're up to no good. Not that guy or that broad. Yeah, there's something about her. Something. Mr. Soul? Oh, uh, nothing. Um, Mr. Soul, can I ask you something? Uh, sure, what's up? That scary guy, he said something about Knight of the Priestess of Water. Yeah, what's it to you? Uh, um, I... because... Look, kid, I told you. I'm just a bodyguard. I keep my nose out of my employer's business. So I think that means my employer ought to keep her nose out of mine. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, now you know. Go get some rest. We got an early day tomorrow. I don't want you slowing us down. Okay. Good night, Mr. Sewell. Run! Run! Coral! <gasps> Coral!
Coral, run! Mr. Sewell, it's okay. Coral! I'm glad you're here. I can protect you. Good morning, Mr. Sewell. I hope today is another good day. Yeah, sure. Hey, kid. Uh, about last night. Hmm? <sighs> Never mind. I mean, thank. Bleep 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 bleep. It seems Mr. Bleep Bleep 3.0 has picked up a powerful signal. Hmm. This is strange, but there's no doubt. What? A creepy broad from earlier? Oh my! How sudden and unexpected. Just as sudden and unexpected as it was yesterday. You know how they say, no matter where you go, destiny follows you. Well, let's begin. Take them off. Come on, now. All at once. Let's get out of here, kid. <sighs> I think we're good here. What are you laughing at, kid? N nothing. <laughs> uh, let's just go look for that gem, all right? Okay. Watch out, kid! Y you! In the name of my master, I challenge you to a duo. Hold on! I've got some questions for you. Who the hell your master is, for starters? Why does he know about the priest... about Coral and me? I don't answer to you. Now let's go! Let's go! Here they come! Hang in there! Don't protect it! Not here! <laughs> Idiot. Pathetic. How weak. Damn it. Magnus. What? I'm just a passerby, but I cannot simply stand by and pretend that I saw nothing. Besides, have you ever heard the saying, no matter where you go, destiny follows you? Oh, but this is my precious, precious guinea pig. I can't simply give it back to you. <laughs> Damn. Until we meet again. Damn! <sighs> what strange magic? Wait! Poultry, pointless, pathetic, puerile, utterly gone. Still, I suppose that's how a bad guy ought to run. Who 
Who are those two? What do they know? Mr. Sewell! Let's head back to the city for today. Okay? Yeah, you're right. Fade? <laughs> Ah, there's nothing better than an obedient pawn. Hmm. Regardless, the master key, and you. I will always have what I need to see that he does as I desire. Perhaps this is a reward for past lives well lived. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sewell, are you alright? Your body... Hey, don't give me that look, kid. I'm fit as a fiddle. A pushed envelope is still an envelope. Hmm... I like men like you. Still... It's not good to be tired. Let me have a look. I can massage that for you. Take off your clothes and lie down. Come on! Yeah, well if you insist. Hmm? Oh, wait! What the hell are you doing here? When did you even show up? Damn. You figured me out then. Our unlikely encounter must be due to karma from a previous existence. That means you and I share the same destiny. Hey, don't say stuff like that, lady! Oh, how cold! And after I saved you! What? I saved you <laughs> from trouble! What? <laughs> and I will continue to save you. You are my precious guinea pig after all. I, uh, mean, uh, well, you know, like they say, all that is necessary for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. Mr. Sewell, I don't think Mel is a bad person. And she did save us. We do owe her. I think she might turn out to be very helpful if she comes with us. Sophie, was it? You are a very good girl. This creature here, on the other hand, he's big. On the outside, I mean. But on the inside, he's a very, very small man. What the hell? Fine, whatever. She wants to come with us, okay. Do whatever you want. Of course. Did you think I wouldn't? Now let's try this again. My name is Melrose Kirsch. Please, call me Mel. As you can see, I am a beautiful sorcerer traveling the world, like a commoner. My hobbies are magic research, with the goal of bringing permanent happiness to the world, and exploring ancient ruins. Okay, that's nice, lady. From now on, I intend to study the unique magical energy radiating from Kreis here. I expect I may attack him in his sleep for experiments, or perhaps a vivisection. <gasps> I'm sorry. I didn't realize I said that out loud. Oh dear. <sighs> Ch changing the subject. That fade person. She was emitting a very strange sort of magic, don't you agree? In fact, perhaps it was... You know something, don't you? 
Well, this is all just speculation, but she may be a human soul bound to a... Uh, do you know what a homunculus is? A homunculus? Yes. They have no feelings, no purpose. Like living dead, I guess. They just do what they're told to do. I hear if they lose their master, they turn to dust. That's so sad. Yeah, but it means she's dangerous. Ah, well. Guess there's not much point in worrying about it now. Alright, kid. Where to next? We might run into her again. We need to be ready. Okay. Well, I was thinking of going to Mount Ishtal. Mount Ishtal. The mountain west of the Ishtal ruins. Alright, you two. Make sure you get a good night's sleep. Especially you, Mel. I better not wake up to your face. Well, shoot. You're not fun at all. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I can't sleep. Might as well go outside and grab some fresh air. Grace, what are you doing up so late at night? Oh, Mel, uh, yeah, I... Are you doing something naughty? Do you have a date with Sophie? <laughs> How exciting! What the hell are you talking about? She's just a kid! What kind of creep do you think I am? Oh, so you're not going into Sophie's room then? Excellent. Come to my room. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh... I'm not going to that kid's room, come on! After all, it's bedtime for kids! Yes, yes! Yes, it is! <laughs> Nighttime is the time for adults! So... Now that that's out of the way, why don't you come to my room? I'm sure we have all sorts of things to... <laughs> talk about. Whoa! What the hell? Well, yeah, alright. But you and I are gonna have words. I got some stuff to say to you. So... Here's my room. And this is the tea I poured for you. Go on, drink it. Drink it all! You didn't, you know, put something in here, did you? Like sleeping pills? Well, I never. Do you really think that I would resort to such an obvious trap? <laughs> I'm hurt. The only thing in this tea is an herb that will warm you up. When you drink it, you will become so hot that you will have no choice but to take your clothes off. That's not any better! What's your problem? Don't you think about anything besides dissection? Well, of course I do. I also think about world peace and how I can bring happiness to mankind. I also think about what I'll have for breakfast. You know, important things. So breakfast is about as important as world peace, huh? Isn't it? Dissection can wait. Today I will merely observe... I mean... Let's talk. Talk? Yes, yes. Talk. Converse. Communication. Playing catch with words. To be honest, just observing you is awfully entertaining. This conversation is but the first step. Soon, 
All your secrets will be revealed to me as I tease them out of you one by one. Um. So, here are some questions. How can you release so much magic? Do you recall being altered in any way? What's your favorite food? What color pants are you wearing? Hey, look. You're just bombarding me with questions. This ain't a conversation. It's not? Well, this is how I normally converse with people. Is there something wrong with it? Uh, yeah, a lot. Oh. oh. It's so difficult to talk to common people. I can't fathom what you're thinking about. You can think, right? Of course I can think. I suppose rushing things isn't going to help me. As they say, patience is a virtue. Look, we're in this together. I'd like to have at least some idea where you're coming from. Though I'm starting to wonder if that's even possible. Well then, we must have sessions like this one more frequently. A special communication time just for you and me. <laughs> Did, did it suddenly get colder in here? Maybe I'm imagining things. Alright, so we're off to Mount Ishtal. I think that's... Northwest of Tarim Wood. It's farther to the west than the ruins, so make sure you get it right. Wow, Mel, you sure know a lot. <laughs> yes, well, I don't wish to brag, but I know a great deal. A great deal. Far more than you can comprehend. So long as I am accompanying you, your journey will be much, much easier. All right, all right. Let's just get moving, shall we? Oh, by the way, Grace, have you visited the Great Library in Floromas? Library? Why? Well, I thought you might want to read up on Mount Ishtal. I don't need to research a mountain. What are you saying? Knowledge is power. You don't think we can just, you know, wing it? But why? <sighs> Sophie, can you convince him? Oh, well, I leave everything up to Mr. Sewell. See, if the kid says we don't gotta go, we don't gotta go. Come on, you two, let's move. Okay. Mel? Okay, okay, I get it. Fine. Yes, I know. You said that about five times since we got here. Of course you think it's great. You're the one who wanted to come here. <laughs> oh, but you tagged along, didn't you, Grace? Um... Yes, yes, I know. 
You needn't say anything. Ah, oh, Grace, now you too understand the glory and the wonder of the library! No! I mean, damn. You just kept staring at me and giving me the stink eyes, so I finally gave in. Happy now? You are so mean. I... I just thought that this would be... helpful... for all of us! <laughs> Knock it off! Jeez, you couldn't trick a child with that, you know? Let's just do what we came here for. So, Mel, where should we start? Oh, I have many, many other things to do. I'll have to leave any Ishtal research up to the two of you. I'll see you later. That girl, she just wanted to go to the library. Well, we're here. Let's just take a look. But where should we start? I mean, I don't really go to places like this very much. Ever. Well, how about over there? Yeah, I guess so. Let's try and find something that mentions Mount Ishtal. All right, kid. You start over there. I'll start over here. Okay. Hey, Mr. Soul, what do you think about this? Huh? You find something? It says... Glowing blue wolf sighted in the depths of the Ishtal Mountains. What the hell is this? I guess this is an article about the Kokona expedition team. Supposedly, they caught a blue wolf called Buoy Max. That sounds kinda... sketchy. But it looks like it does mention Mount Ishtal. Nah, we should look for other books. Wait a minute! Whoa! M mel where did you come from? Hush hush! The book you're holding! Oh my gosh! <gasps> This is the study record from the Kokona Expedition Team! Uh, are they famous? What are you talking about? They go to unexplored places all over ER and make all kinds of amazing discoveries! Alright, that's nice. Anything useful? Um, let's see... There are still many mysteries in our world of ER, not the least of which is the flora and fauna of the Ishtal. This looks kinda long. Just pick the good bits, okay, kid? Anything that seems relevant. Um... Excuse me? Mel, wasn't there something else you wanted to research? Why don't you do that? Alright, kid, keep going. Okay. Well, it looks like it's mostly names and descriptions of monsters. I've... I've never even heard of a lot of these. Well, nobody really goes to that part of the world, you know. Just kind of figures that it'd be full of critters we never heard of. It sounds like there are monsters there that use petrification magic. Oh. This one sounds like it might be kind of dangerous. You want to take a look at it? They've got a story in here about a monster called a bomb. Let me see. Oh, so it blew up when they tried to kill it? So it says you can tell it's about to blow when the body starts to expand. It looks like the expedition leader risked his life to save his crew just as the bomb was about to explode. That's amazing! Really? Huh? Well, there's a picture here. Some guy carrying someone out of a bunch of flames, huh? That's probably all a bunch of crap. Grace! You still don't understand this book! <laughs> Sophie, however, does. 
This is delightful. You're so smart. You've made Mommy very proud. Um, Mel? You're not my mother. Come on, there's no way you can escape a monster carrying someone else. It's just... it's nuts. You're missing the point. Whether it's possible or not is irrelevant. The point is... Why do people chase mysteries? They do it because... The world is nothing but mysteries. Uh... Uh... Um... <clears throat> oh, my apologies, I was... excited. Um, well... that's really pretty normal for you. What? No way! Uh, anyway... we found some useful information. Let us depart! To Mount Ishtal! Yeah, I guess you're right. All right, let's get moving, you two. Okay. We're off to look for the legendary wolf, Bowie Max. No, we're not. <sighs> you do know how to kill the mood, don't you? With an attitude like that, you'll never be a good explorer. What makes you think I want to be one? Huh? This is what? There have been numerous sightings of the legendary Bowie Max at this location! No! Really? The two flows of sand. When you come upon them, there before you shall you see a monster wreathed in blue flame. I've never had the chance to see it myself. At least so far. But I've examined those illustrations from the Kokona's Explorer Report countless times. Oh, I know it by heart. All right, let's be careful then. We don't want to run into it. Oh, you mean to tell me you want to leave without seeing the buoy, Max? I don't want to die. I want to leave, period. I've heard rumors that rare monsters often carry treasure. Treasure? Yes. Does that pique your interest? Fine. Tell me about this thing. Well, the rare monsters one hears of in certain areas are ancient and magical. Most think they were created for some specific purpose. But whatever that purpose might have been, no one knows. They are all very cautious creatures, so it is often difficult to find them. But if you were lucky enough to obtain a few hairs, or even part of a nail... Oh, that doesn't exactly sound like treasure, Mel. Well, maybe to you, but... What are you saying? Such a find would be a boon to magical studies. No! <gasps> to all of ER! It would bring happiness to the world! Well, that sounds nice, but for now, how about we just hope we don't run into this thing? That'll bring me happiness. Gosh, you just aren't a big picture sort of man, are you? Sophie! Uh, yes? You want to see it, right? I, um, uh, no, not really. But it was Bowie Max that the legendary Kokona explorers were searching for. I guess. So, you want to see it? Well, maybe.
maybe just a glimpse. You see, Grace? Only a glimpse? After all, we have a long journey ahead of us. A little detour won't hurt. <laughs> so long as it stays little. Fine. Do you have any ideas on where to find this thing? If your plan is just to walk around until you find it, then you can count us out. Come back when you found it. <gasps> but I knew this would happen. I've been researching spells to summon rare monsters, you see. Spells? Yep. Let's get started. You guys ready? Okay. Yeah, yeah, Bui Max. Bui Max, Kafayak Blank Tang Bekerugadong. Bui Max, Krang Tang Bokatang Vrekavarong. Good. It didn't work. Good? Oh, that was a spell to summon an evil god from another place of existence. I did tweak it a little, but... No! No summoning evil gods! Bad Mel! All right, let's just walk around a bit. Maybe we'll find it. Are you even listening to me? Wh what was that? I don't know. Maybe that spell did work. Something's coming. Ready, guys? Here they come! Here I fall to ride! Alright! Even in hell, money makes the best lawyer! Sure how, but it looks like we made it. Yes, it would seem that way. But this is only the beginning of our grand adventure. Now, back to finding rare monsters. Oh, give me a break. Let's go! I'll do my best! Hang in there! All right! Sorry.
Get ready. I'll do my best. Hang in there. All right. All worldly objects are too ephemeral. Watch out, guys! Die! It's my fault to ride! All right! Thank you very much! Get ready! Die! Yeah! 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 Return to the world yes. from whence you came! Looks like a type of bomb. Kind of a weird color, don't you think? Ah, wasn't this in Gakona's book? Yeah, I guess I do remember seeing it. Good job noticing. That was back when Kokona was looking for the Ishtar Mountains. Let's go! Here they come! Save the story for later. If its body starts to expand, then it's dangerous, right? Yeah, so all of you better be careful, all right? Steel Edge! Ow! Heed my call to ride! Hang on, Yakon! I'll hear you now!
Here's a stone monument. This should be it. Yay! Thank you, Mr. Sewell. Thank you, Mel. You're incredible, Mel. Your magic is amazing. I'm really happy you're part of our group. Yeah, well... I guess that maybe she's kind of useful. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Excellent. Our friendship is proceeding apace. I am one step closer to realizing my ultimate goal. <laughs> uh, um... Mel? Don't take her seriously, kid. Just, just ignore her. Anyway, isn't it about time to do your thing? Uh, okay. Rene, Rene, Mark Arsu Sonaf! Cloister of Time, open! Gems. Oh my! Well, that was something! Sophie, what was that magic? I am ever so interested and terribly, terribly excited! I must investigate Sophie immediately. Take off your clothes! Hurry! What? <laughs> this is for the advancement of science. No need to be embarrassed. Now, take it off. Oh, better. I'll just take your clothes off myself while I uh, examine you. N no, I don't want to. Oh, there's nothing to worry about. I won't hurt you. Just trust me. <laughs> no! Your your eyes! You're scaring me now! <laughs> hey, knock it off! God damn it! Look, lady, you try any more of that pervy crap and you're out on your ass! This is all in the name of science. I do this for the good of mankind. It's my hobby. I'm so sad. Knock it off. You aren't fooling anyone. If you want to stick around, then no more trying to take our clothes off and no more analysis. Got it? Okay. Well, they do say if you can't beat them, join them. I guess I join them. Good. A promise made under duress is no promise at all. Did you say something? Oh, no, no, no! Nothing at all. I never say anything. Anyway, thank you, both of you. Now we have the fifth gem. Thank you very much. Let's head back to the inn.
protect you? Seems about right. Even in hell, money makes the best lawyer. Ready, guys? I'll do my best. Seems about right. Thank you very much. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Come on, little lady. <laughs> you're saying you're too good to talk to me or so something? <laughs> Come on! Let's just play around a bit. <laughs> there, sweetheart. <laughs> we'll show you how to drink and how to... <laughs> how to play. <laughs> Keep your hands off me, creep! Now listen good! The only man who can touch me, Tenon Elliot, is my future husband! Got it? Hey, don't be like that! Let's be friends, babe! <laughs> <laughs> Why is it that everywhere I go, I have to run into idiots like these? Idiots? What the hell, lady? We try to treat you nice, and this is the thanks we get? It's time someone brought you down a pay, and I think that someone is us. You don't get it, do you? I'm not gonna waste my time on stupid old bastards like you. Just leave me alone. Bye. You biatch? Looks like we don't got no choice. We're gonna have to be a little rough on you. Mr. Sewell? I know. We gotta help her. Hey, you all right, lady? You see? Good always wins. Now you know. Oh, were you planning to help me out? That's very nice of you. But I can take care of myself, thanks. Later. Strong girl. Cute and strong. Tanon Elliot. Elliot? Oh my gosh. Is she the daughter of the Elsa Ray family? So, how many more gems do we need to gather? We need two more. Have you heard of the Forest of Doubt? Yeah, but who hasn't? It's pretty famous. It's east of Terram Cave, I think. Forest of Doubt, huh? Yes, yes! I 
wouldn't be surprised at all if there were a few magical goodies still undiscovered there. I confess surprise that you've heard of the Forest of Doubt, Sophie. You know quite a bit for a child. Yes, yes, very clever, very observant. Why, when you get to be as old as I am. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You can't be that much older than she... No, wait, that's not what I meant to say. Still insisting on following us, huh? Of course! Why wouldn't I? My mission is to seek out new things and old, mysterious civilizations. I think your little, uh, treasure hunt here dovetails nicely with that. We will be friends forever and ever. <laughs> Best friends till death do we part. <laughs> You don't take a hint, do you? This is so ridiculous. Oh, don't get upset. You know how they say, no matter where you go, destiny follows you, yes? Oh, don't give me that crap. You ever hear of free will, self-determination? Destiny's a load of bull. <laughs> Sophie, stop grinning and say something. Are you sure you're okay with getting this crazy broad involved? We're not involving anyone. They're drawn to you is all. Mel won't be the last one either. There will be others. Many more people will find their way to you. Pulled by destiny. Our clock will begin to tick away the moments once again. Mr. Sewell, such are the stars you were born under. Stars? What are you talking about, kid? <laughs> well, if the boss says it's okay. It's not really my place to say no, is it? We got a lot to do tomorrow, so let's rest now while we've got a chance. I can't sleep. Too much on my mind, I guess. Maybe a little fresh air will clear my head. Mr. Soul, what are you doing up so late? Same to you, kid. What's up? Isn't it time for kids to be in bed? I couldn't sleep. Um, do you want to come to my room and talk for a bit? Sorry, I gotta talk to Mel. Oh, okay. That's fine. Good night, then. Why, hello, Chris. What brings you here so late? Are you... No, I am not here to be dissected. <laughs> Why would I even do that? Beat me to it. Well, I think I know why you are here. You've come because you've been pondering what Sophie said. Am I right? I'm right. <clears throat> yeah, something about the alignment of the stars or something. I don't know what she meant. Well, Grace. I have come to believe your fleshy shell houses some very, very impressive mystical energies. I see that as a result of magical and chemical reactions. But I suppose Sophie sees it in a different way, yes? Yes. You think that's what it is? I mean, I don't feel anything. Yes, well, you see, the real question is how did you get this... thing? I think your birth must feature in the explanation. Uh, uh, how to say it? I think you were born with it. Any ideas? Do you remember your birth? Uh? Hmm, 
Perhaps a little too nosy. A sensitive subject? Forget everything I just said. All of it. All right. Everybody's got a past they'd rather not share with other people. Clearly you do too. I should have remembered. Mel, have you got a past too? What? M me Well, a past? Um, a present, maybe? Present? Well, as you can see, I am a beautiful genius. It is not an easy life, you know. Quite hard. Many responsibilities. Sometimes all those burdens make me feel good. Alive. But sometimes... I feel like they're going to crush me. When that happens, I just want to go away. Far away. Go somewhere where I don't know anyone. And just deal with... myself. Really? Man, I guess you really got your own problems too, don't you? Oh! You believe me? <laughs> oh my! You did! <laughs> when a hot girl tells you about her feelings, are you touched? Do you feel closer to her? Mm? What? You were just... Ah oh man, I can't believe I swallowed that crap! I'm going to bed! <laughs> Good night, Chris. <laughs> Sometimes you can't say the things you want without making them a joke, Chris. I think you know that pretty well. So, the Forest of Doubt. That's northwest of Terram Wood, if I'm not mistaken, and I don't think I am. In fact, it should be due east of Terram Cave. You remember the cave, right? Right you are. But isn't there somewhere else we need to go first? <laughs> oh, there? Ah, uh, I suppose, when I feel like it. I don't want to fight another freak. Maybe it's better if I don't go.
<laughs> what are you laughing at? Grace, finally you understand the beauty and power of the library. Well, I guess it doesn't hurt to know what to expect. Just admit it. We could leave, you know. Okay, okay. I was only kidding. Don't be like that, all right? Let's look around a little. Fine. Just hurry it up. I want to get out of here. We should really check out the rest of those Explorer books. Oh! Sophie, Sophie, Sophie! Straight for the good stuff. The Kokona Explorers are what every explorer hopes to be. They lead us across new horizons. How nice. Moving on. Huh. You are no fun at all. If I played along with you all the time, we'd never get anything done. Come on, kid. Let's go take a look. Oh, okay. Well, fine then. I'll help you this time. Oh, that's a surprise. The Kokona books here are in excellent condition, and there are hundreds of them. I won't get bored. That's great. Just make sure you don't get distracted, all right? Once you find what you're looking for, you tell us immediately, got it? Shoot! I can't put anything past you. <laughs> The Forest of Doubt, Fact or Fiction, our hot spring expose reveals the truth. Do they even try to make these sound believable? What does it say? Let me see. Oh, here, give it to me. I see. Oh my, yes, <gasps> wonderful! What? what? What is it? This is my favorite episode! They go into the woods, you see! And they use magic to beat the stuffing out of a bunch of monsters! What kind of monsters, kid? Um... It looks like it was mostly ones with fire and petrification magic. Alright, that's all we needed. Let's go! Are you sure? Mel looks kind of sad. Not my problem. She wants to read it, she can come back later and read it on her own time. I just wanted you to see how wonderful it was. <laughs> I only wanted you to understand the vital importance of being informed before setting off on a dangerous journey. Cute. And your real reason? Why, so we can discuss the absolutely awesome adventure of the Kokona to- <laughs> See what I mean, kid? Yes. Yeah, it's gonna be faster if you and I do the research ourselves next time. We can leave Mel back at the inn. What? Alright, come on, guys. The force of doubt isn't coming to us. <laughs> I'm so sad.
Let's go! Here they come! Heed my call to ride! Seems about right. There will be none left to pick up your remains. Get ready! I'll protect you! Get ready! Here they come! Yeah! There's a tree in the way. What should we do? Hmm. Well, there's another path. Oh ho! Let's go there then. No, wait. There might be something down there. Let me go check it out, alright? You two stay here. Uh, excuse me. My feet are getting numb. Oh, is that so? Um... You saw... You saw me naked. Uh, well, you see... This is really just a big mistake. I didn't mean to, you know. That's not fair! I promised myself the only to see me naked would be my husband. What am I gonna do? I'll just throw my body into the spring and drown. Whoa, whoa, calm down. This isn't a big deal. Mr. Sewell, what are you saying? It is a big deal for girls. Indeed. <laughs> I know. Simple! You should just marry me! That solves that problem! <laughs> what?! Uh, an interesting choice. Wait a minute here! That's not fair! What? W why not? 
You don't like me? But... But I... <laughs> you made her cry. Grace made her cry. Hey, look. This is... Look. This isn't about whether I like you or not. I only just met you. You're right. Okay, how's this? I'll follow you around everywhere until you become my husband. Does that sound all right, sweetheart? S sweetheart? What the hell? I mean, damn. What makes you think it's okay for you to just follow me everywhere? Come on, you agree with me, right, girls? Well, I can understand how Tinon feels. I want to support her. Oh, yes, very much. Such a pure child. Why, it warms my heart. As they say, no matter where you go, destiny follows you. You should come with us, definitely. What? Thanks, you guys. Oh, let me introduce myself. I'm Tenon Elliot. I'm traveling around the world training and honing my skills. Nice to meet you all. I'm Sophie Rathorn. Mr. Sewell is helping me look for gems. It's a pleasure to meet you. Gems? Uh, I guess you can fill me in as we go. Nice to meet you, Sophie. I'm Melrose Kirsch. Please call me Mel. I'm just a pretty little magician who happened by. It's a pleasure to meet you. Melrose Kirsch. Why have I heard that name before? You're the representative from the municipality of Met... No, no, no! That is someone else entirely! I'm just a person... like you. Right, Miss Elliot? Huh? Oh, yeah, <laughs> right you are! Yep, yep! <laughs> nice to meet you, Mel! That poor, confused man over there is Mr. Sewell. Pull yourself together now. The Forest of Doubt is just ahead. What? Oh, uh, yeah, let's get going. It's wonderful to meet you, sweetheart. I'll do my best.
So, this is the Forest of Doubt. Tanon, were you planning to come here too? Well, it wasn't my goal or anything, but I thought it might be a good place to train. Oh yeah, why are all you guys out here anyway? We're gathering gems. Gems? You mean like rocks? Um... You know how they say, a picture is worth a thousand words? You'll understand soon enough, Tanan. I guess you're right. So, the Forest of Doubt. Is this everyone's first time? Well, I've never been here before. Doesn't look like anyone's been here before. True. Well, it's not like we've got a choice. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah! Ready, guys? I'll protect you! Seems about right! Return to the world from whence you came! Let's go! I'll protect you! Seems about right! All worldly objects are too ephemeral! Dead end. Watch out, guys! I'm pretty amazing, you know! Get ready! Prepare yourself! Pinto! Good job, 
off, everybody! Get ready! Prepare yourself! Feel it! about right all right watch out guys Pretty amazing, you know. Then toast. Shatai's amazing. Shatai madness. Hanging this. Come, young man. Do it. All right. Justice always prevails. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> 